Hi everybody, welcome back to Slip Twip Knit. I'm Shelby and I come to you from Shelby Township, Michigan, which is where I do my knitting. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. And if you're a new viewer, thank you for giving me a shot. I hope you can stick around for a little while or you want to stick around for a little while as it is. Um, if you are new here, and I start out this way every time, I start this way every time. If you're new here, the name of my podcast from, comes from me being Shelby. I'm from Shelby Township, Michigan. Shelby Township, known to the locals, is also called The Twip or Shelby Twip. So on Instagram and on Ravelry, you can find me as Shelby from The Twip. And I will have that linked in the description box down below. Um, as far as knitting goes, I am pretty much in the throes of gift knitting right now and I can tell you a little bit about it. I have one finished object and one work in progress. Not a whole lot going on here right now because it is the, um, the holidays are happening right around this time and I don't know what I was thinking when I decided that I was going to knit my gifts this year but I did. So first and foremost, um, my finished object is this. It is the Sun by the Water hat by Drops Design. It's a free pattern on Ravelry and I knit this for my dad. And at the moment I blocked it today, but it's not dry yet. And then I put it on this bed and apparently a dog has been in here because when I picked it up, it was covered in dog hair. So I'm a little irate about that, but it's fine. Dad won't mind. But um, this is the second one I've knit out of this pattern so far this year. The other one I showed you last time and I did that one in all in black. This one I did in Knit Picks Swish DK in the color Bark. The last one I did is black and I knit it on a size US 2 needle. I'm a little bit of a loose knitter and the pattern for this one calls for like a 2.5 US. So I swatched for a change and my gauge was too big so I just went down a half a size and I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Fingers crossed. Um, not a whole lot to say. It's really tedious because you cast this on and then you basically do 10, 11 inches of two by two rib before you start doing your decreasing and shaping the crown. So it'll be fine. I know that I know that my dad will appreciate it, so I'm glad it's done. And then my primary work in progress, which is the only one I brought to share with you today, is the same exact thing, except I'm doing it in this green color. And um, this one I'm doing for my grandma because I thought I might have some time and I thought since I have might have time I'm gonna try at the very least most of this progress has been from today I probably had maybe this much at the beginning of the day so I've done this much throughout the day we are having our family Christmas on Saturday which means I need to I need to get knitting I need to get this one done and I'm hoping that I can have it done by Thursday so I can have it washed and blocked and wrapped by Saturday evening. So that's what I'm hoping. This is, this yarn is um, Knit Picks Swish DK again, but this one's in the color Jade. And I actually really like this color. I think it's a very good color. If anybody out there is a Michigan State Spartans fan, go green, go white. Um, this would be a really good color for a hat or any other stately item 
Um, I think this might actually be a fun hat to wear if you were going to go tailgating or something out on one field. Which is the the field that people tailgate on at Michigan State. Um, not too much else going on with this. I'm hoping that if tomorrow, which I have stuff going on tomorrow, but I'm hoping that I can still get knitting in. I'm hoping that tomorrow I can at least finish up this, this little skein of yarn and then um, throughout the week just kind of keep adding a little bit to it. The reason I, w I was behind on this, I think, maybe I wasn't, I don't even remember what day I finished this, but I cast this on during the week and I didn't get to work on it nearly as much as I wanted to because normally I knit on my lunch break and I didn't really get a chance to do that this week, unfortunately, and then the other thing was just at the end of the day I'd come home and I would be too tired to knit which is really kind of a miserable existence if you want the truth but things will get better I hope if not I'm gonna I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna have to do I'm not giving up my knitting I'm just saying it makes me happy don't give up the things that make you happy um, gonna have to reevaluate, I guess. So, seven minutes in, I have wrapped up talking about my projects. So, I'm hopefully gonna let this. I'm gonna, I have a little itty bitty itty bit of chatter to share, um, which is to say. I kind of have been thinking ahead, and this is right, right around the time of year that I start to do this anyway. I've been thinking about my goals for next year. And last year a lot, like I break down my goals by category. And all of my knitting based goals for this past year were in my fun category. I'm considering making a yarn or fiber category on my goals list for this year um, just because I don't know I have to think about what my goals are and I have to see like if basically I might talk about this maybe maybe next time because next time I record it's gonna be the week of Christmas but the video right Yes, I'm going to be recording hopefully the week of Christmas and then the video will be going live the following week, which is the week of New Year. So, I might talk about it a little more then, but essentially, I'm thinking about what my knitting and fiber and yarn goals are for next year, and my primary goal really is to start de-stashing, like hardcore de-stashing, without the, without maybe selling or trading stuff on Ravelry, I don't, I don't really know if I want to trade or sell on Ravelry at this point, but there are things that in, in my in my stash that need used and I have quite a few planned projects so that's kind of what I'm my primary goal is going to be at least for the beginning of the year is to use up my current stash and to not add anything to my stash without without um, I don't want to really buy yarn at this point. I think at this point I need to just focus on using what I've got and then, you know, um, one caveat to that is I am going to the 
um, the Spring Fiber Expo in Ann Arbor. There was one in October. They have two a year. So I'm not going to be able to make the one next fall, but I'm going to make the one in the spring. So I'm going to go to that and I will, if I buy yarn there, I'm not going to penalize myself, but I am hopefully, because that's in April, I have quite a few months between now and then to get working on my stash. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. And I know I have whips that I need to, um, I have whips that I need to get back to anyway. And that's kind of what I'm planning on doing as well. Once, once this hat is done, I'm going to be returning to some of my whips that have been other needles for a little bit longer as well. I'm thinking like, I have to finish my love note. I also have my farmhouse cardigan that I have to do. Um, I also have a pretty nice stash of sock yarn that I need to use. So there's kind of like, there's things that I need to work on and I'm aware of. Um, and getting through first. And I also have a couple of planned shawl projects. So I'll share a little bit more about that next time as well because I kind of, in addition to thinking about my goals, I've been trying to set up my journal slash planner. Um, mostly because I don't, I hate the term bullet journaling because I don't really think I bullet journal. But I keep a journal for like journaling, I guess. And the reason I started, I'm like incorporating like some planning elements into my journal because I haven't really found a planner that works for me, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to be doing instead is just kind of designing my own, I guess, making a hybrid um, and kind of, because I am one of those journalers, I write like about my day and how I'm feeling and stuff. So I'm going to be incorporating that and planning and probably knitting stuff into my journal. And I might share that next time. I don't know. I have to figure out how I'm setting it up and what my goals are and all of that super fun stuff that everybody tries to think of at the end of the year. Um... I don't know if gift knitting is going to incorporate, be incorporated into my goals for next year. I do, my mom wants me to knit stockings for the dogs. So I don't know when I'm going to do that, but it's got to get done next year. I think that's actually a really cute idea though, so I'm not mad about it. Um, Yeah, and then I'm just trying to think what else there is going on that I have to talk about that's knitting related. Um, and now I'm just sitting here saying, um, not really knitting related, but I have been baking up a storm because it's the holidays. Last weekend I made two different kinds of cookies, including Russian tea cakes, which are a favorite here in our household. And then today I assembled the ingredients to make shortbread and I made peppermint bark. And now I'm thinking I have to make the shortbread tomorrow in addition to everything else I'm doing tomorrow, but it's fine. I at least did laundry today, so that's one less thing to worry about. Um, I'm so sorry. I might have to edit out all the ums, to be completely honest. What is there? Oh, I don't even know. It's bedtime. It's prob- oh god, I don't even know what time it is. But it is bedtime. I should be in bed. And then, what was I going to say? There was one other thing I was going to say and now I've forgotten it. 
I am really enjoying all of the holiday related content that's coming out right now about this time of year. Um, it takes me a couple hours to get through a Grocery Girls podcast, but I loved their most recent one, which was actually, they did that one live. I didn't tune in for the live recording, but I am watching it on YouTube now, and I'm really enjoying that one. Um, who else has put out any good ones? I'm enjoying Stacy from Stress Knits. Her, she's doing Vlogmas this year. I'm enjoying that. And I know there's a lot of there's a lot of other ones go out there going on right now, but those are the that's the holiday content that I've enjoyed the most right now. I'm just looking at these hats thinking, oh my god, how the hell am I gonna get them done? So hopefully next time there will be no more gift knitting. I might maybe share photos of my family wearing their knitted gifts, maybe, if they let me take photos and then, um, but it'll be nice to be working on some other things that are not, that are for me. I can get back to my selfish knitting and doing things that I want to do because I know that they're going to challenge me and all that other fun stuff. So. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for tuning in. If you've made it this far, please comment below and tell me tell me what the perfect project would be based on something that you already have in your stash. So like for example, one thing I have on my to knit list in my D stash is I have the perfect yarn to do the fluffy in the nook socks by twin stitches designs so that's gonna be hopefully coming on and off of my needles in early 2020 so tell me in this in down below something you have in your stash and the perfect knit that you have in mind for it and thank you for tuning in if I don't see you before the holidays, have very happy holidays, Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. I know that those are concurrent this year and I will, um, out. I... Thank you again for tuning in and I'll see you again soon, hopefully. I hope you come back and anyway, regardless of how I feel about whether or not you come back, please go watch someone else's podcast now and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.